Leo was a young boy who lived in a small village near the mountains. He loved to explore the woods and the hills, looking for adventure and treasure. He had a wooden sword, a leather pouch, and a map that he had drawn himself. One day, he decided to climb the highest mountain in the area, hoping to find something amazing. He packed his pouch with some bread, cheese, and water, and set off on his journey. He followed a narrow path that wound up the mountain, passing by rocks, trees, and streams. He walked for a long time until he reached a clearing near the top of the mountain. There, he saw something that made him gasp. It was a huge egg, bigger than he was, lying on a nest of twigs and weeds. It was shiny and smooth, and had a pattern of scales that glittered in the sun. It was the most beautiful thing he had ever seen. Leo approached the egg, wondering what was inside. He touched it gently, and felt a warmth coming from it. He felt a connection with the egg and a curiosity. He wanted to see what would hatch from it. He decided to stay with the egg and wait for it to hatch. He made a fire and ate some of his food. He sang a song and told a story. He watched the stars and fell asleep. The next morning, he woke up to a loud cracking sound. He opened his eyes and saw that the egg was breaking. He jumped up and ran to the egg. He saw a small hole in the shell and a pair of eyes peeking out. He heard a soft chirp and a smile. He watched as the egg cracked more and more until it fell apart. Out of the egg came a baby dragon with green scales, yellow eyes, and tiny wings. It was the most adorable thing he had ever seen. The dragon looked at Leo and tilted its head. It seemed to recognize him and to trust him. It crawled out of the nest and came closer to Leo. It nuzzled his leg and licked his hand. It made a happy sound and wagged its tail. Leo was amazed and delighted. He had found a dragon and it had hatched for him. He felt a bond with the dragon and a love. He wanted to take care of it and to be its friend. He decided to name the dragon Spark because of the sparks that came out of its mouth when it sneezed. He gave it some of his food and some water. He played with it and taught it some words. He hugged it and praised it. He spent the whole day with Spark and they had a lot of fun. They explored the mountain and saw many things. They met some animals and some birds. They flew in the sky and swam in the lake. They laughed and learned. They were the happiest pair in the world, and this was their story. <laughs>